here from OG Creations. In the video last week, I ran through my experience using Hue Chromic Color Changing Fabric Dye from Solar Color Dust on a 100% cotton canvas apron. In part two, I'm using the same dye on a 95% Model Cotton 5% spandex fabric. I start with using the Geo technique to tie up each brief. When I found this dye, my first instinct was to use it on my most popular item, men's bikini briefs. Is it wrong that I want to highlight all those thick meaty pieces out there, like giving everyone a pair of their very own x-ray goggles? The instructions start by stressing not to pre-soak your fabric. Then you mix one 8-ounce bottle of dye with 6 cups of hot water. Place your garments in one at a time and let them fully absorb the dye. Using gloves, you wring out the garment, returning all the excess solution back into the pot to use for your next garment. You let the product air dry completely and away from the sun. Once it's dry, you wash it in cold water on delicate cycle. Once the dye was washed, the end result was exactly the same as the apron. Not as promised, and definitely not pretty. The dark blue was more faded periwinkle, and the pink was more corpse-like. I create a Usona ash bath and put the briefs in there for 20 to 25 minutes. Just as in the video from last week, I'm going to layer the colors. Using the crumple technique, I put a layer of soda ash, then use Dharma colors in plum and hydrangea, a layer of ice, more soda ash, and then set it aside for 24 hours. Rinse the briefs under cold water and then run it through a cold water cycle and a hot water cycle using mild detergent. Do I still wish that I had not bought multiple shades of the Hue Chromic dye? Absolutely. But you have to admit, the way the color is layered throughout these briefs are really awesome. They will not be on my Etsy site for long. I post new content every Friday, so make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section what you would like to see created next.